Hi, I'm Rohit. I'm a back end engineer in Swim. I'm here today to discuss how to set up your environment to be able to build and run Swim applications. All you need is Java 9 or higher. Um, Server-side Swim is written in Java, so this is a hard requirement. We also recommend using some sort of Java build tool. We use Gradle internally, and we have taken steps to ensure that using Gradle is as straightforward as possible. Notably, all of our starter applications come with wrapper scripts, meaning that you won't even need to install Gradle on your machine. If you prefer to use your own Gradle distribution, then the commands in the upcoming tutorial will follow identically. Otherwise, just replace every instance of the Gradle command in the shell with Gradle W. That's Gradle with a W character added at the end. So in the shell that I have pulled up, I am going to demonstrate that I have both Java and Gradle installed. And there we go. Um, I am now going to create a sandbox directory in which I will be cloning all of the cookbook applications. Um, this is just a straight up git clone from the Swim OS organization on GitHub. Um, I personally prefer to use SSH to clone it, but I will al also demonstrate the equivalent call using HTTPS. Okay. Now that we have cloned the cookbook repository into our machine, we can go ahead and run the web agents cookbook. This is the simplest cookbook that we have, and it only requires running a simple Java class. Because we have Gradle installed, we can simply use Gradle to run this cookbook. Um, that logging is sufficient to prove that everything has worked correctly. No configurations needed. I am now going to demonstrate running the command lines cookbook. This one is a little bit trickier because there are two Java classes that need to be installed. Let's look at the build.gradle file. The important lines are near the top under repositories and dependencies. The repositories block shows us from where we are pulling the swim jars, the swim core jars rather. The dependencies block shows us which modules we need in order to build and run the Swim server. And the last piece is the main class name variable, which determines which main class we will be running. In this demo, there are two main classes to run, so we will have to account for this as we run the entire application. So without changing the file at all, I'm going to go ahead and run the basic plane class. Um, you'll find out later that planes are the fundamental pieces to swim servers. A server loads the plane, and then when it runs, the plane manages the runtime of the server. But the command lanes tutorial also involves a client piece. So I'm going to go ahead here and change the main class name to the appropriate client piece. and then in a separate shell, run the client portion. I will now switch over back to the server side portion. And we should see server logs. There is an additional client log that you will see. So in this, in this video, we demonstrated how to run both the simplest of cookbooks and the more complicated ones. Um, these generalize across all of the cookbooks. Now that we've shown you how to run any type of cookbook, future tutorials will detail the cookbooks themselves and more applications that you can write and run using Swim.